Hey everybody, Luke back once again. This time to take a look at everything we know about Earthlock 2. Now, Earthlock is a very well-loved RPG game from 2016. Now it's coming back with Earthlock 2, a new open-world action RPG game. Now the game's been in development for a while. First announced back in 2020, ran in some issues with 2020 being a pandemic year, and a whole lot more, and more recently, development delays. So what do we know about the game? The team's been very, very tight-lipped. Very little has been leaked, and after digging around, I've compiled everything we do know. I'm going to put it in one video here and let you know everything we know about Earthlock 2. First, though, if you're new here, help us grow this channel. We're a brand new gaming channel. We break down everything we know about new games coming out, gaming news, how-tos, and so much more right here in this channel. Do us a favor. Help us grow. Hit that thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Doing one or both lets YouTube know you enjoy what we do here, so they recommend our videos to more people. It really does help us. With that said, let's dive into everything we know about Earthlock 2. Now, Earthlock 2 will once again take place in the same world as the original Earthlock game. This time, though, it's much more focused on real-time combat and a more open-world feel than the original game. Now, there's a lot of other changes, and one of the biggest ones, it seems that this story be more about finding family members of the crew as you go out and explore the world, probably going from the hot to the cold and more in this world that no longer rotates and is locked in this uh, perpetual day-night cycle. Some parts of the world are forever at night, some parts of the world are forever in the day, and the land between is kind of the Godelock zone, I guess we'll call it, where life can be sustained and most people are. Now if something has happened, we're not really quite sure what, but will force you to go out and explore to find your friends and family and bring them back to the more healthy area. There's been speculation that maybe this area has rotated, maybe the earth moved a little bit, and now they have to get into a new, more protected area. We'll have to see how that works out. Now, open world RPG games has kind of become the thing right now. Everybody wants an open world RPG, and Earthlock 2 will be no different. The game is moving much more into an open world aspect and action combat RPG, as opposed to just more of a standard RPG of the original game. We'll have to see how that goes with current fans of the series. Are they gonna be happy with the move or not? This could be done well and a lot of people will love it. This could be done badly and it'll scare away a lot of friends and fans of the game. We'll have to wait and see. Now beyond this, almost nothing is known about the game. The game has been repeatedly delayed. Now some of that's not their fault with uh, everything happening in the world, pandemic, pushing development back, making it harder for teams to work together, not unknown at all. But, um, the team behind it does seem to be having some development issues, and that's related into the most recent delay from 2022 into 2023. The word is the team is very focused and very confident that they will get it out in 2023. I think a lot of people will feel better if we could see a more recent uh, trailer out there. Once we see that, I think a lot of people will be much more willing to buy into it. But at the moment, even though the, the game was announced back in 2020, 2023 is the anticipated release date. Now, the good news is it will have a lot of support. It currently announced for PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X, PC, through Steam, and a whole lot more. We'll have to wait and see how that works out. Will it hit all these? Will their development force them maybe to drop older support for PS4? Probably not. Uh, word is that that development's pretty far along, and at this point, it won't make sense to stop that, but we'll have to wait and see. Is there something I missed? Did I not hit something here? Leave me a comment. Let me know. I'll love to hear from you. But it's pretty clear here that the development behind the game has been troubled and not all because of the developer's fault. A lot's happened in the world. Outside influences are a big part of this. So we'll have to wait and see what the game actually looks like. Again, though, definitely would feel better if they would announce more, if we could see more of the game. So did I miss anything? Leave me a comment, let me know. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up. It really does help us.